Well, do you have wasted space in your home? Reclaim it. Moore's Organizing Expert has a way for you to do just that at no real cost to you. Check it out. Hi, it's Vicki Norris, organizing expert and life reclaimist of Restoring Order. Today, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make the home you have the home you love. Now, there is a space in most homes that is doing nothing for you. It's the living and dining room combination. The living room collects dust and knickknacks. The dining room you only use once or twice a year, maybe. And then people are deciding to move. They say, we don't have enough space. Our home isn't working for us, and they leave. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can reclaim that real estate. Okay, features is a very important thing to consider when you are taking back real estate in your home. In our case, our living dining room combination before, when we first bought the house, was not a very useful space for us. It had white carpet and fancy furniture, and we have kids. So we needed to create Kid Central, which included tearing out all of the carpet. So one of the first things that we did was think about what we wanted the space to do for us and what features were important. So a big open floor space with just a workroom floor was critical. And we have a homeschool co-op. Some of you may know that we homeschool our boys. And so we needed to get 12 kids in this space. So openness was essential, and that meant a peripheral floor plan where everything went around the edges of the room rather than in the middle of the room. So in addition to openness, we needed workspace. And workspace was pretty critical because a lot of times, especially when your kids are little, you've got big projects you have to spread out. So we needed big workspace for that. And also, of course, I have engineers who need workspace for their Legos. So when you're thinking about your space, think first about the features that you need your room to pull off. Okay, next with your room conversions, I want you to think about aesthetics. In our case, Kids Central, the former living and dining space, connects to my kitchen. So I didn't want to look in the door frame and see Lego City explosion while I'm trying to host a dinner party. And so inside this space, I set up a nice comfortable chair where the kids could listen to records or I could read. So as you look at aesthetics, think about what you're going to see when you look inside this space. Okay, you really want to think about the purpose of the room converted space. In our case, it was Kids Central. So that meant that we had certain categories that needed to live in the space that serves the kids. And crafts was a big part of that. They needed their pens and pencils and crayons and coloring books and all of their equipment related to arts and crafts. In addition, we needed a library, a place that we could put all of our books for the kids. And I still had all my old Nancy Drews. We needed to make room for those. And then there's curriculum. With homeschooling our kids, there's all sorts of subjects that we need to store from science to math to English. And it's a growing amount. So we needed to create a modular system that grew with us. Okay, so if your home is driving you crazy, you don't feel like you have enough space it's okay, you can start over, and that's what's so great about room conversions. In fact, it is one of our favorite things to do with our professional organizing team at Restoring Order is to sit down, get out the floor plan, figure out what's driving you crazy, making you pull your hair out, and convert the space to something fun. The sky is the limit. You can take your home back and make the home you have the home you love with Restoring Order. Now, I want to invite you to visit our blog at RestoringOrder.com where you can find out more about this project and ideas for your room conversions.